If you're on the market for a planner that screams black girl luxury, I'm gonna need for you to run to the booked planner website and grab you a planner because sis, these planners sell out fast. So the key to winning with your money is not all about budgeting. It's also about productivity, time management, and organization. So today we're going to be reviewing the Booked Deluxe Planner and the Booked and Busy Planner. What's up guys, it's Janetta from Cash and Curls and if you're new here, I teach millennials how to save, budget, and eliminate debt while still enjoying their lives. So today's video is all about productivity, organization, and time management. I truly believe that many people struggle with their finances because they struggle in those three areas I mentioned earlier. If you're ready to boost your productivity, your time management skills, and your organization skills, and you want to feel like a boss doing this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, because this video is for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing, comparing, and reviewing two planners from the Booked Planner line. So be sure to stick around because I do have a discount code um, that you can use if you decide to purchase one of these planners. So today we're going to be not only reviewing the Booked and Busy Planner, we're also going to be reviewing the Booked Deluxe Planner. And as you can tell, just by looking at the two, there is a uh, difference in size, but these planners are also geared to two different types of people. Let's go ahead and get into unboxing the Booked Deluxe. We have our ribbon tab, which we can pull. Which we can pull out. And clearly this one is huge and I love it. I love that it's so big. Okay, so. We have another affirmations, affirmation card, which is the same as the Booked and Busy um, with affirmations for ourselves. And we have the Welcome to the Book Club showing you how to utilize your planner. Okay, we have our metal bookmark to help us put inside of our planner. And then we do have our pen as well, that ombre, ombre pink color with the logo included. Um, so I love this. It's screaming luxury all the way. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the details of this planner. So there's a lot of similar features um, like the other one. First and foremost, you have your pocket sleeve where you can include some important papers. Um, you have stickers, okay? You have some stickers so that you can use throughout the year. So then it has um, this welcome page. So this planner is perfect for someone who wants to literally plan out every little detail of their life to the hour. And that is me, guys. I love hourly planning. Um, I got really big into time blocking from my friend, uh, Taylor Chanel, who helps moms balance like mom life and uh entrepreneurship this planner will be perfect if you're a mom a busy woman who just loves seeing their life um, detailed out okay once again you have your welcome letter and you have your area where you can sign that you are completely booked this year <laughs> included in this planner as well um, is a list of everything that's included inside of the planner your yearly items inside of the inside of the binder you have your monthly um, items that are included in your daily. So you also have an area um, where you have a yearly overview of 2024 and 2025. Holiday list, you have a personal reading list, um, the official reading list for the year. I can't say the, this book list is different from the book list that is included inside of the books and busy. Okay. So you do have an area where you can include um, your professional and personal goals. You have your goal will, your bingo, but everything is just a lot bigger. You have your vision board area, which I love. And then we get into the monthly details. Once again, we have the same dope graphics that were included inside of the Booked and Busy. But now I'm just going to show you guys um, how this planner is a little bit different than the other. So this planner includes a monthly spreadsheet where you can map out your month. It has different holidays included and it has a hairstyle tracker. 
I love that guys I don't know about you but I love planning out my hairstyles for the week um, planning out my hairstyles is a big portion of my life uh, so I love that it has a section for you to write out what your hairstyle is gonna be for that upcoming week in addition to that we also have a um, notes section where you can write out your notes for the month we have our goals and then we have our budget as well. Um, in this planner, we also have a weekly meal plan. So everything for the month is actually included in one page. So you can write out your meals for the week of uh, January 8th and write out everything you're going to eat for the week, so on and so forth. OK, and then you also have a section where you can write out um, your grocery list for each week. All right, so let's get into the details on how this planner is different than the other. This planner is a daily planner, okay? So each day has its own page and it allows for you to plan by the hour. So as you can tell, you have um, the date and then you have your daily schedule. So it starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 9 p.m., okay? In addition, you have a section um, for your daily focus. So what is your spiritual daily focus, your physical, self-care, morning, and a bedtime routine? Um, you have a section uh, for you to write out who you need to call and the emails you need to send. And you have a section for your to-do list. So this is why I love this planner. Um, this planner lets you be a very, very detailed and it lets you focus on a day at a time so that you can maximize your whole entire day. Okay, um, and then it has the same for the following day. Um, the one cool thing about this planner as well is that it includes monthly quotes, okay? So you do not become what you want, you become what you believe, okay? And that's by Oprah Winfrey, all right? So, and that's pretty much it with this planner. So it continues on. So each day has its page. And I just love this. Um, the weekend typically is put on the same page because our weekends are typically a lot slower um, than our, our weekdays. So Saturday and Sunday is included. And then you have your weekly reflections. So I really love this, this planner. So if you're on the market for an hourly planner, this planner will be perfect for you.
get into the planner all right so this is the cover of the planner guys this is screaming boss like this lady is about her business and i love it like she is truly booked and busy so let's go ahead and get into the details inside of the planner okay this planner is very compact very um i won't say it's lightweight but it's a lot smaller than the other planner that i'm going to be reviewing so if you don't want like a hefty big binder like this will be perfect for your work bag is booked and busy 2024 is going to be a year of you being booked and busy okay The really cool thing about this planner is they include some reading okay they include some books to help you with your reading goals okay so they have books for business books for communication leadership personal development time management and stress management you know being a content creator being a businesswoman it could be very stressful um, and there's a lot of things you don't know so I love that they include like a reading list to help us not only reach um, our business goals, but to help us develop as like leaders um, in different areas of business aside from just products and um, producing content. booked and balanced will so this is a um, goal will where you can write out your goals for different areas of your life uh, so you have like family goals physical goals um, financial relational academic spiritual you can list out all of your goals or your yearly focus inside of this will and come back and review it throughout the year to see if you're on track and over here I love this I'm actually gonna utilize this this year it's a bucket bingo it's a bucket list bingo okay so what you'll do is write out all your bucket list items for 2024 and what you'll do is you'll um write it out and every time you do something that's on your list uh, you can put like a little sticker on it or give yourself a little check mark because uh, we want to still enjoy life while we're building our business i've learned that it can be so hard to um you know manage your business and your personal life at the same time but you have to make an effort to still enjoy the life that you have while you're building your business so this is perfect so now we're going to get into how this planner is different from all the other planners so once again this is the booked and busy planner and this planner is geared for content creators entrepreneurs business owners small business owners this is geared towards you so the cool thing about this planner is that they include a brand mood board now you have a section where you can write out your brand colors your brand fonts um, your brand tag and keywords and brand inspo so this is perfect for someone who is just starting out and they're trying to build a brand um, their ideas out um, in the in the planning phase okay the next cool thing about this is that they have a brand personality spreadsheet okay so this is the area where you can write out what your colors are gonna be what is your brand voice um, what is the message you're trying to communicate with your audience um, and what kind of experience you want your audience to have. I love that they have questions to help you identify what your brand image is and what separates you from everyone else. So this is perfect if you are starting out and you don't really know or you're trying to develop what your brand image is gonna be. And this is perfect if you also do have a business, an established business or brand, and you just want to be reminded what your target audience is and what your brand is trying to communicate, okay? 
um, I love this feature of the planner, okay? This is what honestly geared me towards purchasing it. It was this spreadsheet and it's another one inside of the planner that I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later. But this is the 2024 Business Analytics, okay? I love this sheet, okay? So it has a financial summary and also have a marketing analytics uh, section at the bottom. So what this page honestly provides is like a yearly overview of what your business did. How much um, did you earn in revenue? What was your operating expenses, your marketing costs, investment and in, in equipment, services, and then what was your net profit for the whole entire month, um, you know, throughout the year? Down here, they also have a section where you could talk about your email subscribers. The email subscribers did you gain for each particular month? Um, they also have some things about website clicks and Google web pages and like your most popular content. So I love that this spreadsheet is included inside of your binder because sometimes we really forget like how much impact we're truly making. So this is a good spreadsheet to have if you're a content creator or a business owner. Another cool thing that they have inside of this planner is um, a quarter one strategy. So they have this for all four quarters, but you have the option where you can, you can write out your objectives for the quarter, your profit goals, your methods for increasing revenue, decreasing your costs, and so much more. So this is definitely good. Um, this is definitely a great tool to use at the beginning of each quarter. Um, and I like that it just keeps you organized. Like one thing I find with being a content creator and business owner now is that you need to have all your documents organized and this is perfect to keep everything in one central location, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the monthly spread. Each month is pretty much the same. So you get your um, monthly calendar view right here um, where you have all of your holidays listed out and you also have an area where you can track your hairstyle which I love <laughs> and you have a intention for the month at the top okay after that you also have a page for your social media calendar guys like this is what drew me to this planner as well having a spreadsheet where I can physically write out my content ideas for the month I don't know about you guys but I'm a paper and pencil girl okay I love writing things down so you can write out your ideas for every single day of the month when you're gonna prep when you're gonna do some editing when are you gonna do some recording you can literally write everything out and have it at your fingertips at all times so I love this feature of the planner um, and in there you also have a note section included um, so that you can write out your notes for the month so you have your goal sections where you can write out your goals for the particular month and it has a budget section okay so you guys know I'm all about saving budgeting and eliminating debts so they do have a monthly budget spreadsheet where you can um, track your income and your expenses for the month um, on inside of your planner so this is a really cool feature that they have that helps us reach our financial goals <laughs> um and then we get into the kind of like weekly layout of the planner so you have your your days listed out um and the cool thing is this one has kind of like a to do a to-do list um setup okay it's kind of set up as a to-do list so you write out the things you need to do for the day and then you can honestly check or highlight the tasks that you the tasks that you completed for the day um, and they do also have a weekly to-do list section um, and you also get quotes on every single page, which I love. Um, in addition to your weekly spreadsheet, you also have um, a weekly meal plan, okay? So you can plan out your meals for the week and you have a grocery list section. So this is so cool for those who are trying to get into meal planning. Um, that's one goal that I have for myself. Um, and then you can have a section and then it has a section for you to reflect and show gratitude for this um, last week that you just experienced. Um, and down here is this week's Big Rock and Little Rock. So this is a area for you to write out the tasks that you have for the week. So like your bigger tasks and then what are your smaller tasks that kind of like take less time and effort. So you can write those down inside of these rocks. So that's pretty cool guys. Um, and then if you turn the page, it's, so you also have a section for your intentions. So you have a section um, for your spiritual focus, physical, self-care, morning and bedtime routines and your daily habits, okay? So the one cool thing about this is that you can write out what your spiritual focus is for the week. So say for instance, you want to read your Bible for 10 minutes a day. Um, you can just come back here every day and just like put a little dot use a little uh, marker and just mark off the days that you read your bible for 10 minutes it's really cool and then they have a section for you to um, write out people you need to call emails you need to send um, and they give you some like 
weekly checkpoints. Um, I love this because sometimes we forget to do certain tasks uh, throughout our lives. Uh, so this is perfect. So this one says, love you, book a staycation. <laughs> like I am here for it. Um, and then it just goes back into the weekly layout where you have your days of the weeks and you can write out your tasks for the day. Um, you have your whole week and then it gets back into your meal plan, grocery list and reflections. Okay. So if you're an entrepreneur or a content creator or a small business owner, I highly recommend that you checked out the that you check out the book and busy planner. This planner is geared to anyone who is in the entrepreneurial world, um, someone that runs a small business or someone who is in the world of content creation. This planner will truly help you grow your business and they also include some really cool features to help you operate your business. So definitely, if you're on the market for a planner for your business, I highly recommend that you check out the Booked and Busy, the Booked and Busy Planner. So if you're a girly that just loves to plan and you love planning down your days, down to the hour, this planner is for you. This planner will give you exactly what you need to help you feel like you are in control of your day and it will help you achieve some of your big goals for 2024. In all honesty, I have been rocking with booked planners since 2022. This year, I wanted to try out the booked and busy planner. I ordered this planner first um, because I am actually on my content creator journey. I'm building my brand, I'm building my business, and I thought a few trackers um, that are included inside of this planner will be perfect for me. But as I got the planner, I decided that this planner is not for me. It's not for me because I love hourly planning. I love big planners, um, but this planner is perfect for anyone that wants something small and compact to fit inside of their work bag. This will be perfect for you, okay? So what I did is I went to my um, tried and true planner, the de the deluxe planner. So I ended up getting this planner because I like to plan by the hour. So since I have these two planners this year, I decided to gift the big the booked and busy planner to my sister as a Christmas present. Now that we've compared both planners, I do want to highlight that each of these planners have multiple versions. So we have the spiral version, which I showed you guys today. Booked planner also have a heart a heart bound version, and they also have a digital version of this planner for all of my digital girlies. So if you're unable to get your hands on this planner, I do want to. I do want to highlight some other cool things that they offer on their website. In addition to their planners, they also have an academic planner. So if you're a student out there, you're a teacher or you're in admin, I highly suggest that you check out their academic planner because that planner could be perfect for you. In addition to that, they also do have wall calendars. They have um, guided journals, a, a weekly planner pad stickers and pens so i've been rocking with book planners since 2022 in 2023 i missed out on a planner and let me just tell you my planning life sucked like i did not enjoy planning in 2023 because i did not have the book deluxe planner like once you guys get hooked to this planner, you're never going to want to try anything else. Um, last year, I tried a, a different type of planner and I hated it. It did not motivate me. It did not keep me uplifted um, in planning. Um, so I definitely suggest that if you miss out on the 2024 planner, that you come back and check in on their website around mid-November because that's when they release their upcoming planner for the following year. So typically it's around Black Friday time where they release their new planners for the upcoming year. So sis, I want you to start saving your coins so that you can get this planner next year. So if you like today's video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Use my discount code, which I'll leave right here on the screen and down in my description box. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I provide content geared to millennials to help them save, budget, and eliminate debt. That's all that I have for you today. Never forget that you can win with your finances and planning, and I am rooting for you. Until next time, friends. Bye.